If science is about using knowledge to solve problems, Mutoni Masinde believes she has hit the motherload, using what she learned at school in the big cities of Africa and Europe, and from her mother on a small farm in Kenya. Growing up in the village, working in the small farm with my mother, I realized that she always depended on observable indicators to determine when she's going to start to plant even what to plant. Across Africa, small-scale farmers rely on nature, trees and animals to predict rain and drought. I'll give you a very typical example. They look at dragonfly. If the dragonfly is flying three feet from the ground, they know it will rain in three weeks. But the problem is, with climate change, some of those animals, the insects, the trees that they use are disappearing. So we need them to bring something that can uh, bridge that gap, so the science. Masinde designed a tool to help farmers cope with the changes, a drought predictor. It's an early warning system that fuses modern science and ancient wisdom. Wireless sensors placed on farms measure temperature, rainfall, and humidity. Those measurements are sent to farmers who are equipped with mobile phones and tablets so they can receive and send information in their mother tongue. Whenever they see the dragonfly, or they see the flowering tree, or they see the animals coming home, jumping, they take a picture, they document, and they send it to us. So as we receive on one hand the indigenous knowledge, we also receive the science, so to say, the, the, the measurement. Then our models combine those two and come up with a prediction. It's part of Masinde's Itiki project, which works with farmers in Mozambique, South Africa, and Kenya. Masinde hopes to expand her Itiki project across Africa to help more small farmers adapt to a changing climate. That discussion need to be brought as quickly as possible to make them aware that sometimes this is, they, they always assume it's a curse, you know, this year didn't rain, it's a curse. But you need to make them wake up and actually realize this is climate change.